Hey, Chandler from Ditto Feed here, and I'm gonna show you how you can automate WhatsApp messages using the Ditto Feed webhook channel. A quick note, Ditto Feed is an open source customer engagement platform, and we appreciate all forms of support, whether that's likes, subscribes, GitHub stars, comments, it all helps us keep the open source project going, so thank you. Let's get started with our WhatsApp automation. You may need to pause the video to create various meta accounts along the way if you haven't already. First, you'll need to log in to developers.facebook.com, which I'm on here, and you can click this login button. And once you're logged in, it'll look like this, and this My Apps button will appear. So click that. We're going to create app up here on the right. It's gonna be other because we're doing this WhatsApp um, app. All right, next. Select business, click next. Now add your app name. It can just be, you know, Ditto Feed testing for now. Add your contact. Uh, there's a business manager account that you'll have to make if you haven't made one already. Um, I have one made here, but you can do that at business.facebook.com and um, we'll end up generating some permanent access tokens in this account later on. So definitely important that you make a business manager account in Meta. Now that we have this, click create app. Um, I think this is a Meta bug. Um, but you can just click close, and then if you go back to apps, uh, it'll be there. Open up that app and scroll down till you get to WhatsApp and click setup. So select a business portfolio. This will just be your meta. Um, business manager account. Mine's just called Ditto Feed. Click continue. Okay, so now we're just gonna go to start using the API. And it'll take you to this API setup page here. It'll give you this temporary access token um, and you'll need to enter a business phone number by just clicking add phone number and filling out this information. Since I've already gone through this process and verified my number and everything, I am just going to leave this here. Uh, Meta also generates a test number for you and you can also just use the test number if you don't have a business phone number. One thing to note is this phone number ID will be going in the API post URL, which you can see here and that phone number ID changes depending on which phone number you're on. So just make note of that. I'm gonna use just our um, business phone number at Ditto Feed right here. And you know you can put your personal phone number in here. Um, this is my personal phone number, which I'll blur out for this video. Let's try to send a test message from um, our company phone number to my personal WhatsApp account using this curl command. So hit send. All right, it says successfully sent message and I just got a WhatsApp notification here. You can see all of my previous uh, testing attempts, but this is the one, 4.01 p.m. It's 4.01 p.m. So we got that message and um, these phone numbers seem to be working. That'll be your first test you wanna do just to make sure you set your phone numbers up properly. Let's move on to our next task, which is going to be setting up a permanent access token instead of this temporary access token. And once we set up our permanent access token, we'll be able to transfer that into Ditto Feed's uh, webhook settings and um, you won't have to constantly refresh your access token. 
To do that, you're going to go into your business settings and business.facebook.com. So under users, you're going to select system users, add a new system user, enter a system username. I'm just going to call this Chandler2. Um, select a system user role. You're going to want to select admin and create system user. I guess I only get one admin system user and I've already created one here. But um, yeah, once you, once you create that system user, what you're going to do is select assign assets and then you'll go to apps and you'll select the asset you want to um, assign to the system user. Give them full control to manage the app and then click save. All right, so now I have this Ditto Feed testing app. Um, now what I wanna do is go to WhatsApp accounts click add, put your phone number, your business phone number in there, and then click continue and it'll take you through uh, WhatsApp account setup. I already have a, an account set up and uh, basically what you have to do is once you make that WhatsApp account, you assign people and you're going to assign your system user and also hit full control and click assign. Go back to system users and click generate new token. Select the app that you want to generate the token for. And for token expiration, click never. And for permissions, select Scroll all the way down and select WhatsApp Business Management and WhatsApp Business Messaging, and then click Generate Token. We can copy that and then save it somewhere safe. Click OK. That's essentially going to replace this temporary access token. And that temporary access token currently is in this curl command under this header authorization bearer. And then there's that token. Um, so that's the temporary one, and we want the permanent one that we just copied. We'll go into our Ditto Feed workspace and go to our settings page, click webhook, um, and you'll get to this, this webhook section. And you'll want to create a webhook secret, name it, um, what's app token, click create, paste it in there, and hit save. I actually already created a WhatsApp token and called it WhatsApp secret token. So copy the name or just remember it. Um, I'll delete this one since I already have one. And then Go back to message templates and we're going to create a new webhook template. Um, before we do that though, let's go to user properties. Under phone here, click that and make sure that it's set to the phone number that is connected to your WhatsApp account um, that you can use to view test messages. So I just put my personal phone number here for testing. Click Save. All right, so head back to Message Templates, go to your Webhook Templates. We just generated this new one. Name it, um, say WhatsApp Testing. And I'm going to paste a body message in here. Um, and then I'll take you through all of the um, components of it. At a high level, we have this config object and we have this secret object. 
Um, within the config object, we have a URL that is the meta WhatsApp API uh, post URL for messages. And there's this component of the URL that is the um, sender phone number ID, which you can see right here, and you can even copy it. And again, if it's a different number, it's gonna be a different phone number ID. Um, you need to put that phone number ID in um, this exact spot of your version of this post URL. And the method is post, and there'll be one header in here, content type JSON, application slash JSON. And then we have this data object within um, the config object. It has some important information in here. Messaging product, you'll set to WhatsApp. Two key will be set to your user property phone number. Um, and you just do double curly brackets and put user.phone. And you'll see that renders the phone number. For type, it's going to be text. There's also a template type and a couple other types that you can put here. Um, and I'll link to the documentation for the WhatsApp API. There are a few cool things you can do uh, besides just sending a regular text-based text. All right, so then within text is the body, and this will have the text that you'll actually be sending as a test. Now here under the secret object um, you're going to have another headers object with this authorization key and you're going to put bearer and then double curly brackets and then secrets dot the name of your um, your webhook secret that you named in your settings page. Okay, so make sure your identifier key is set to phone. One last thing, um, I was having some errors with this before, but go to WhatsApp, send a message from your private phone number to your business phone number. So just say, hey, uh, yeah, Meta has this rule where basically um, businesses can send um, other types of messages that aren't message templates only if the user replies to the business in a 24-hour window. WhatsApp will forward this kind of error in webhook form only, so you'll need to set up your webhooks uh, notifications in Meta for Developers. Once you've sent yourself this, sent yourself a message, um, you can go back to Ditto Feed and let's send a test message. And there's your test message. So there's some funny uh, rough edges with dealing with Meta's um, API. I hope that some of this has addressed some of the errors that you might run into. This was the main one for me that really got me hung up. Um, you are allowed to send these templated messages that have sort of like a header and um, a body and some kind of footer, but if you're just trying to send a regular text message, the person you're, you're texting um, has to have messaged you first within 24 hours. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial um, and I'll leave this whole template in the description to this video. Lastly, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you have other ideas for the webhook channel. I'm always happy to 
um, accept feedback and, and incorporate it into our future videos. So thank you.